Good day and welcome to the channel. In this short video, we are going to explain what you can safely delete from C Windows on any version of Windows. The first thing you can get rid of is Windows Temp. And you think, really? Have to get rid of Temp? No. Well, let me just explain. Let's go into Temp. You'll probably get prompted saying you don't have permission. Oh, there we go. You can highlight all of these files and press the delete key and uh, it will dump any file that's not in use. Uh, you can then click uh, skip for any of the remaining files. Now I've been told by lots of people you can't do that. I have done it for more than 25 years without a single problem. You can absolutely do it on working servers. The next thing to look for is the mini dump. So mini dump is just a cra for crash files. And if you have a mini dump folder, go into it and delete anything that's in there. Next thing to look for are any rando files. Specifically look for folders that have seemingly random names. Those are likely temporary folders that you can safely delete. The next thing to look for is offline web pages. Probably not a lot in there, but there might be. Go into it and you can uh, gun anything that's in there. The next thing is the prefetch folder. Let's go into prefetch, click continue. Oh, nothing in this one, but if there was, you could safely delete it. In case you're wondering, the prefetch is just a cache folder, which is why you can delete anything that's in there. Okay, now we're up to the three biggies. First is Windows Update. So, uh, Windows Update, let's go uh, look at that. That's the software distribution folder. Software distribution. If you go into that, you'll see there's all kinds of stuff. And it's usually quite large because you probably never cleaned it out before. Let's go take a look at download. This will be every patch that's ever been on this machine. Now, to delete the software distribution folder, what you need to do is turn off three services. So let's go into services and we'll go to bits, background intelligent transfer service. Bye. Just right click and, oh, odd. Normally you can stop that. I'm not sure why I can't here. Let's move on. The next is the cryptographic service. You can stop it. And the next of course is Windows Update. There we go. And now let's see if we can delete this with just those two services being stopped. Okay, great. I'll turn those services back on now and I'll turn them on in reverse order. So cryptographic first. Okay, cryptographic is back. Back to Windows Update. And you'll see as soon as we start it, the software distribution folder comes back, except now it's empty. Next thing you can delete, that's probably huge, by the way. Uh, but the next thing you can uh, delete out of uh, Windows Safely is the Windows old folder. And that'll be if you've got upgrades. Now, I don't have any upgrades on it, so I can't delete it now. Windows old doesn't delete nicely, so uh, you just can't right click on it and delete it. So what you have to do is click start, go into disk, clean up, right click on it and run as administrator and uh, have it do a scan. And when that's done, you can scroll down and I believe it's labeled previous versions of Windows. It's not here because I don't have any, but if I did, you could uh, select it and then press OK and it would go away. Now, running the disk cleanup utility, always a good idea. Very safe, very easy. So let's do that. Okay, two notes of caution. Uh, one is you'll be tempted to go into the WinSXS folder. The WinSXS folder stores all the files required to run past versions of system applications. It's really a repository, a cache for things in case things blow up. You can completely fry your system by doing that. So don't go into WinSXS and delete things manually. If it's really large and you really need to deal with it, it's pretty straightforward. Bring up a command prompt. Run it as a as an admin. You can run this DISM online cleanup image uh, analyze component store first. I'll skip through this so you don't have to sit and wait. And there it is. In this case, it says it's uh, about 10 gig and three and a half or yeah, three and a half of it is garbage, which can be deleted. Now keep in mind, much like deleting the Windows Update repository, if you delete this, if you run the next command, you will uh, not be able to roll back to previous versions of things. You probably don't care, but just be aware of it. There's the command to clean it up. Let's do it. Again, we'll skip through this so you don't get old watching, but this will take several minutes. Well, that was dramatic. That, uh, to get to 99%, that took about 10 minutes, and then it took 
about five hours before it started again, got to 100. I've never seen that command do that before, but it did complete successfully. Now let's go see what it says now for spare space. Again, we're going to skip through this so you don't get old waiting. Okay, so now it's done. Let's compare it to what we had before. We shaved off about one and a quarter gig, so not a huge amount. Okay, we've got uh, three things left to show you, one of which is compact the OS. And uh, you probably don't want to do this. It only gets you three to five gigabyte of space back, but it uh, might be useful. Command is simple. It's just compact slash compact OS. We've got to spell it right. And if you want to turn that on, you just set it to always. And if you want to turn that off, you set it to never. Now, we'll just show you compact options here so you can see what uh, we're talking about. There it is. Before you're done here, make sure you empty your recycle bin. Or <laughs> you've probably defeated a lot of the purpose of the things you've done. So I'm going to gun that. And the last thing we want to show you is storage spaces. Several of the things we have shown you are now available in Windows 10, Windows 11, and newer server operating systems through a little applet called uh, Storage Spaces. So what you want to do is click Start and go to Settings. So just click the cog and then go into System and go into Storage. And in Storage, you'll see, or oh, Storage Sense, sorry, not Storage Spaces, of course, completely wrong. Now you can either click on this this space and let it do its calculations and then you can drill into for instance temporary files once it's done and it will figure out what can be deleted for you or you can go straight into we'll go back here we can just go straight into free up space now and this just takes us through the same stuff. So you just click what you want to get rid of and select remove files. Hey, if you found this video useful, we'd really appreciate the thumbs up. Uh, like really helps with Google algorithms, as does our friend Mr. Subscribe. Very helpful. If you have any questions or comments, you can always get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. That's www.urtech.ca. Or just leave a question, uh, you know, in the comments. And if we don't get back to you, somebody else will because... Hey, it's YouTube and everybody has an opinion. All right. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.